ship carriers possessing the coal will transfer the raw materials to the coal silo through coal transfer towers and via conveyors. Excess coal were stored first at the coal yard for future use. Coal transfer towers will serve as the pathway of the coal towards the coal silo. Coal silos regulates the amount of coal that will enter the pulverizer. The pulverizer serves as the grinder of coal so that it is easy to generate heat energy in the furnace. The heat generated by the furnace will be the aid to generate the steam that will proceed to the turbine. The turbine and generator are located to the powerhouse together with the condenser and control room. The electrostatic precipitator filters the flue gases and lets the smoke pass as food and goes to the smoke stack while the ashes will be collected by hoppers. The condenser is a heat exchanger that regenerates the steam to water for reuse. Then pumps for this is further delivered by pumps to heat exchangers for increasing of temperature. Pumps are responsible for the delivery of feed water to the deaterator for removal of non-condensable gases. are responsible for the delivery of feed water to the deaterator for removal of non-condensable gases. Makeup water will be supplied by demineralization plant. Parabolic pumps will serve as the reheater of the steam from the high pressure turbine and then passing it through the intermediate pressure turbine. Intermediate pressure steam will directly go to the low pressure turbine. Steam in the low pressure turbine will go to the condenser. All these turbines are directly coupled to a generator that is responsible for the generation of electricity. The generator will be delivered copy transformers and transmission lines and further to the grid. The coal will be delivered to the coal silos and then be pulverized by the pulverizer. This will be further transported to the boiler furnace and thus the heat energy produced will generate the steam out of feed water. The steam generated will pass through the HP turbine and will return to the IP turbine after reheating through the aid of parabolic drop. As the steam enters the IP turbine, IT will proceed to the LP turbine. The condenser is right below the LP turbine for IT will condense the steam and return IT into water. The turbine is the driving medium of the generator. Its generated electricity will be brought to the transformer and then to transmission lines and lastly to the grid.